Hello, sir. Ready to win big? Let's get those bets in. Bets are now closed. We got us a blackjack. And a ten. And thirteen. Bets, please. And no more bets. Good luck, folks. Here's twenty. And a four. Care for another card? Bust. That is 15. Look at that. Dealer wins. If you're hey guys, TGKS Productions. So as you just saw, I just bought the JB700W, the new uh, version of the JB700 that was added into GT Online this past Thursday. It is based off the Aston Martin DB5. I believe there might even be some features from the DB4. But um, based off of Aston Martin, uh, hence the name Dubashi JB700W. Dubashi is the car manufacturer, uh, Aston Martin in game. So I'm just going to open up all the doors and whatnot here, just see pretty much uh, what all can be controlled from the remote functions. But yeah, pretty much a just a newer version, um, not even really a newer version in a sense, as we'll see. Uh, like I said, I'm going to customize the car and we're going to review it just like I've done in the past. But um, as you can see, that's pretty much everything opened up. You can control the remote functions, but I'm going to compare it a little bit more to the older version of this car. Um, I, I barely even want to say version because it's very similar as you're going to see. But um, I'm going to take it for a little spin here. Just kind of always like to drive a little bit, little bit, or drive at least once before I customize it. Um, you know, not too much I can really tell here. I mean, I, I don't go in in depth really with the performance of this car. Like I said, I mainly just compare it to the to the older version or you know like I said I barely even want to say it's really an older version because there's very little changes to this car and like I said we'll talk about that but for the most part I mean acceleration seems pretty good uh, speed seems you know pretty good as well I, honestly it's nothing you know that's gonna be and this is in the sports classics class uh, weaponized version of this vehicle um, what's interesting is that I'll have to see and you have to leave a comment if, if I'm wrong about this but I tried to actually get this and use this in a race. I was trying to. I, I have a race made where I test some of these cars, and for whatever reason, I guess in the, even though this is a sports classics car, it would not let me pick this car. It would let me pick the original JB700, but it wouldn't allow me to pick this car. I was going to try to race it against my friends, so we ended up having to race it at the airport. Um, so unfortunately, I, I guess you can't really use this in the sports classic class, but um, I guess it's in the weaponized class. But um, in any case, so we'll get into the customization here. We'll touch a little bit more of that in a minute. So first off, let's look at the customization of this vehicle. So to be honest, pretty generic customization. There's really not too much, I would say, or there's not really much special as far as customization is concerned. Um, there's not even really any liveries for this vehicle. I think it would have been cool to have maybe like a 007 livery or something along those lines just considering this is sort of based off the James Bond car or inspiration for this car came a little bit from that vehicle or from the one from the James Bond's movie or movies but um yeah I mean like I said pretty generic customization really the only special things are the weapons uh, which is really only one regular weapon which is sort of the machine guns you can put on the top of the car and then you have secondary weapons which are two of those which we'll talk about both of them um, but like I said pretty much other than just the weapons everything else is pretty much just generic customization even the wheels uh, the wheels are actually I believe based off of the uh, if you go under lowrider wheels and you look at the um, the chrome uh, the wires, uh, the wires tire under low riders and under chrome, it's pretty much the same as the stock one on the car right now. The only difference is the rim of the stock one is maybe slightly smaller than the than the one under low riders under the wired. But the for the most part, the the you know the wheels aren't custom you know either, and there's really no livery. So to be honest, in, in considering that, and we'll even see, I'll show you the, I'll compare sort of the physical feature and even a little bit of the sounds of the car to the older version of the car a little bit later, you end up seeing they're, they're pretty similar to be honest. Um, so I think that's just a lot that you need to take into consideration when you're buying this car, because this car is, you know, $1,470,000, which is a lot. The old ones, 
350,000. So it's just, you know, some things that you need to take in consideration that, you know, like I said, there's really not too much special about the customization, you know, number one. And, you know, uh, number two, like I said, when, when we sort of compare it to the, you know, the other one or the JB700, you know, the first version of it later that's been in the game since, you know, it's been released, which is very few, you know, I'd say DLC vehicles at this point outweigh the uh, vehicles that released since day one. So it's pretty cheap, to be honest, at, like I said, 350000 So it, we got to take all that into consideration when you're, you know, considering buying this vehicle. But anyways, let you check out the rest of customization. I think I'm almost done here. And then we'll sort of talk about those uh, those secondary weapons and, and also the, the primary weapon that's on this vehicle as well. So the first thing we're going to look at here is like the primary weapon that could be added to this car. What a lot of people wanted originally, which are the machine guns on the top of the car. But to be honest, these aren't the same gun that was on the original JB700 in story mode. I'm going to actually show you that gun and we're going to compare them. This one is more like the, the, the pea shooter type of guns that are on, you know, vehicles like the Night Shark and whatnot. So I'm a little bit disappointed, but I'll show you. You can see it here. I'm going to actually compare it to the story mode one here next. What I'm showing you here is a mission from story mode Pac-Man where you actually get to use the weapons on the JB700, what you know pretty much wasn't allowed in GTA Online. And look at what you can even tell by the sound of the weapons that it's not the same. To be honest, you end up seeing I'll show you the full clip here. This thing also had spikes too, which the newer one has, not exactly the same, but it's somewhat similar. I actually kind of like these spikes better. I believe the Arena War vehicles sort of have these spikes. But basically, I mean you can even see here these guns are way more powerful on this JB700. And they're basically like shotgun shells. You actually see here when I get up a little bit closer, you'll see some some of the bullet holes on the car. They're like sort of the, the shotgun bullet holes. If you're using, you know, I'm using the shotgun in GT Online if you compare it to that. So some, I believe it's almost like shotgun shells coming out of this. But they're, you know, way more powerful. I and mean, you see me taking out the police here. Like, you know, you can't do that with the pea shooters, at least not that easily. Um, but you can see the shotgun, sort of the bullet hole on the back of that police car that look like a shotgun, you know, bullet hole. So you can just tell here, these... You know, these guns are way more powerful and they're not the same as the, as the ones in online. And that may have been to sort of balance it, so I'm not going to complain. But these guns are definitely way cooler than the ones that they added onto the GT Online JB700W. There's no doubt about that. They're definitely more powerful. Now, sort of like the JB700, the original one, this also has secondary weapons. Actually, has two secondary weapons instead of one. As you see there, I just dropped sort of a mine. After you hold right on the, or you just actually not hold, you press right on the D-pad, it'll release. Uh, one of two of those secondary weapons, whichever one you applied. You'll see here I applied the spikes. I was able to pop the tire out of that Bravado Buffalo. So you can apply spikes sort of like the one in story mode. Again, it's not the same sort of spikes. I believe the Arena War vehicles have sort of the upgrade of the spikes that are similar to the one in story mode. The spikes uh, that are sort of released there in the form of a mine. One thing I will say, and there is one more secondary weapon, but if you actually watch the little teaser or trailer that Rockstar put together for this car, one thing I didn't really understand is they showed two cars exploding after dropping a mine. So I'm not really sure, you know, if they ended up cutting exploding mines from this, you know, as far as uh, ones that will actually blow a car up, uh, not just, you know, pop their tires and whatnot. So I don't know if they ended up cutting that, but I was not able to find that anywhere. I even tried to see if I'd go in the MOC and apply, which, you know, I was just trying everything pretty much. I wasn't really sure anything would work, but, you know, apparently that I, they must either, they must have cut that from the game. Uh, maybe before the teaser but if anyone knows something that i don't about that please leave a comment but it appears that they they've cut the, at least the explosion ones from the game so the second and final secondary weapon you can put on this vehicle is the sort of the oil slick I, like again i believe the arena war the arena war vehicles also have this upgrade um you'll see here i believe i even end up driving through myself essentially what it does is it you know it's it explodes it's like a mine again it explodes it releases a lot of oil and then you know you pretty much essentially you know, if you're getting chased by the police or another player they're going to lose control of their vehicle or if you go through you're going to lose control of your vehicle um so to be honest i'd say if you were to pick between the two if you ended up getting this vehicle I would definitely probably recommend that one over the spikes just because um, looking at it from you know both dealing with NPCs and players 
Uh, you know, most players have, for the most part, bulletproof tires, I'd say, or most of them apply bulletproof tires to their personal vehicles, so the spikes aren't really going to do too much to their cars, whereas if you have, at least I don't believe so, I don't believe it's going to pop their tires, you know, because they're bulletproof, but at least with the oil slick, you know, no matter whether they have bulletproof tires or not, you're going to be able to make them lose control if someone's chasing you. Same thing with NPCs, you're going to lose control of their car, like if you're getting chased by the police or whatnot, you know, the police are going to lose control, so I'd recommend that one. Uh, you know, over probably the spikes, but those are pretty much the two secondary weapons you can apply. The spikes as well as the, you know, the oil slick, which I believe is a little bit more, it was a more expensive one, but in my opinion, definitely the one that's probably, you know, more worth it out of the two. So to compare it even more to the older version of this vehicle, I wanted to sort of listen to the engine revving and the, the engine tunes a little bit, so I'll let you listen to that. To be honest, as you'll probably be able to, you know, as you'll probably decide yourself, I honestly couldn't see too much of a difference, but I'll let you listen to them and, you know, let you see what you think, but I really couldn't tell too much of a difference. So in my opinion, you know, if any change is slight change, Rockstar might have, you know, did a slight engine tune change, if anything, but to be honest with you, they sound pretty similar, so I don't really think they mess with that too much. The other thing I wanted to do here was just sort of test it. Like I said, unfortunately, I couldn't test the speed or, or race it against the JB700. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it in the one race. Apparently, even though it's a sports classics, it wouldn't let me use this vehicle, so I don't know why. I guess you really can't use the races, so I guess it's not really that important as far as competitiveness is concerned. But I did want to see sort of how it's stacked up against the older JB700 because, you know, again, if, I think it's important considering this is a lot more expensive, you know, over a million dollars more expensive than the original one. And you see right out of the gate here, it seems like the older JB700 might have a slightly faster acceleration. Um, but overall, the, uh, it's, it appears that the JB700W, the newer version, has a, a higher top speed because you can see it's slowly passing the you know the older you know the original JB 700 as the race is going on I think if the track was a lot longer uh, you know this the you know JB 700 W would probably even pass that car even more so you know obviously the runway is only so long and unfortunately I couldn't pull it out or you know pull out the um, use this vehicle in the race but in any case I would say that the 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 newer JB 700 is slightly faster than the older one. Now, the last thing I want to do here is sort of compare the physical appearance of the vehicle, or at least both vehicles, to each other. Now, I apologize the lighting in here because this is my pretty much my garage in, on, you know, in my underground part of my arcade where you play in the Diamond Casino heist. Um, so lighting isn't the best, and the cars aren't the closest uh, together. But I can assure you, I walked around each car a number of times. Really, could not tell a single difference. To be completely honest with you, the only difference you're really going to see here is the color, and we have different wheels and different colors on each of the cars but again you know if I really wanted to I could put the same wheels as well as the same colors on each vehicle so you know again even you'll even see me get inside of each car uh, you know the interior of each vehicle is also the same so again you know the car as far as physical appearance is concerned they're pretty much identical I could not pick out really a single difference if there is any difference I completely miss it and it's very minute which means you know you won't even be able to tell so for the most part physical appearance seems pretty much identical uh, even the sounds of the car seem you know pretty similar and even the performances uh, are, are fairly similar as well as you saw I mean they were pretty close throughout the race although the I would say that the newer vehicle has a higher top speed than the older you know JB 700 the JB 700 W definitely has a higher top speed however from what I could see or from what I found I couldn't use this in a race I mean this is a sports classics car and I couldn't even use it in the sports classics class so I don't know if you can even use this vehicle in a race you have to let me know if maybe I missed something but 
in that case I don't really think really think top speed even matters so to be completely honest for the price of this car since you're spending over a million dollars more for the newer version just for a few weapons upgrades and you know some secondary weapons upgrades which to be honest I think that a lot of other vehicles in the game have similar weapons to that like the machine guns you know the night shark has you know similar weapons to that uh, even like the spikes and whatnot a lot of the arena war vehicles have similar you know upgrades to that like the oil slicks and the spikes and you gotta consider when are you really gonna use those weapons you know uh, you know I think this personally in my opinion this vehicle is more of a show car so I really wouldn't recommend buying this car in my you know from my personal view in my personal opinion I really only recommend getting this car you know only if you wanted it for show but there's a lot of other cars that are definitely you know gonna be way better than this car and I think that you can save a lot of money not buying this vehicle um, you know so that that's pretty much my personal opinion I'd give this maybe like a four or five out of ten just because it's pretty much identical to the older car with just a few weaponized upgrades that a lot of other vehicles in the game have and they really aren't going to prove that beneficial to you and even like I said the performance the looks all that are very similar to the old JB 700 but in any case guys hope you found this video beneficial and as always have a great day.